My name is Fasil Inyalem Maganyew. I came from Ethiopia. Now I live in the Netherlands. In 2005, I was a publisher and editor-in-chief of one of the biggest newspapers in Ethiopia. And uh, we were very critical against uh, the conduct of the election. After that, uh, in 2005, I was arrested following the Ethiopian uh, national election. I was accused of uh, seven charges, including genocide, attempt to create genocide, attempt to overthrow the government, to incite the people to rise against the government, to create some dissension among the military. And so in all this count, so I, I was um, in prison for 17 months. Imagine yourself, keep putting yourself in a dark room in, uh, in uh, 20, 24 hours, okay? Seven days of the week. So it's, it's difficult, you cannot read. Uh, so the only thing you, you can do, even in that small room, you cannot sleep, you know? When I, for instance, when I want to sleep, when I want to stretch my leg, my friend has to sit down. Or we have to exchange places. In the, on the 20th of April, uh, the prosecutor, uh, he, he came on the camera and the TV, and he said that we are, we are going to appeal against the decision of some of the journalists who were released by the court, he said. Uh, so this meant that we were going to be sent to, to prison again. Then that night, yeah, I, I have decided that I should leave this country. It was in winter, actually, the time that I, I arrived in the Netherlands. Uh, I was given a uh, house in somewhere outside of Amsterdam, which is very far from uh, Amsterdam. No, some, some friends, they came together and, uh, and uh, they said, look, th there is no free media in Ethiopia. Everything is now blocked and uh, people do not have access to information. And if you really want to bring change, the only uh, instrument we can have at our disposal is media, as I said. So we have a, you have experience and we have experience, so why don't you establish uh, something like radio or television, as I said. My country is in my heart, by the way, that's, uh, it's always in my heart. It has been and it will continue to be in my heart until I go back there. But still, uh, still, I see the Netherlands as my home too. And I'm contributing for that society. Because uh, it is that country who gave me resettlement when I, at the time of my despair, when I had nothing, when I had no home, when I had no home to shelter. So they were open to me. 